Two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Levin. And uh, at this late hour, let me point something out and take exception to what Chairman Camp said at the outset of his remarks. We're here tonight because, despite what the gentleman from Texas just said as well, you can't cut taxes by $2.3 trillion over 12 years and fight two wars. When you heard the argument before that was so popular, it's the people's money. It's going to promote economic growth, the most anemic economic growth that America's had since Hoover became president. Do you know what's the people's responsibility? Those veterans' hospitals. A million seven hundred thousand new veterans, forty-five thousand wounded. And do you know what the Republican whip said during those crucial years? Cutting taxes in a time of war is patriotic. So much for sacrifice for all of us. When you look back into how we got to this problem, revenue at 15 percent of GDP, that's an Eisenhower figure headed toward Truman. We've argued in this town about 19 to 21 percent for the better part of 30 years. 15 percent of revenue with GDP, 12 years of tax cuts. Now, this represents a reasonable step forward tonight. And I want to say with some personal satisfaction, I'm delighted with what we have finally done to put to rest alternative minimum tax. A million families in Massachusetts were threatened with alternative minimum tax. It was the responsible position tonight, but I want to give you a number. You know what these patches have cost us? $2.2 trillion over the life of AMT. The theology that we heard that was so popular in this institution, tax cuts pay for themselves. You can't find a mainstream economist today in America that will acknowledge that problem. This is a reasonable step forward. Vote for this measure, and let's get on to fundamental tax reform.